first in the post fight interview with Brian Stan, you said that you wanted to fight uh, Anderson Silva, but in the past few weeks, uh, you, you said that you want to go back. You still want another chance at 170. Uh, after this performance, did you change your mind? Now you want to stay at 185, and you're unbeaten at 185 here in UFC. You, uh, did you accept it, the fact that you are a middleweight right now? I said I wanted to um, get a fight that interests me at middleweight, and if I get a fight that interests me at middleweight, then I would definitely stay. And um, Anderson's one of those guys that would definitely interest me to fight. We saw that Victor uh, started the first round pretty well, pretty well actually, even better than his, his uh, past few fights. Uh, what do you think that you, you did to, to stop the, the big start from Victor? No, oh, well, we're, I was well prepared for anything that, that Vitor brought. You know, I'm, I'm training under Rafael Cordero and he's been, you know, he knows Vitor's game from 20 years ago and up until now. So I just followed instructions and, you know, I, I worked a lot these last few months, you know, and you just see the end result of, of all the work. Okay, thank you. Thank you. You seem oh, like you still had something else to say up there and you didn't get a chance to uh, in your post-fight interview. Was that, is there anything else you wanted to say? Um, I just wanted to thank everybody. I wanted to thank my team. Um, at Kings of MMA, thank my family for always supporting me. And just thank God for all the blessings. And um, you, I think you were very, it seemed, you seem very unafraid. Even though Victor looked a lot bigger and he's always an intimidating presence, you seem to be just pretty relaxed in there. Uh, how did you feel? And even when he connected, how did you think, uh, what did you think of his power? Yeah. Um, you know, we were expecting him to be fast, we are expecting him to be strong, we are expecting him to be powerful, and I was just well prepared for everything that Vitor was bringing to the table, you know, and um, you, see the, you see the end result. Calvin, uh, out uh, Anderson, is this a fight that, that, that you want next because of his name, because of the attention that, that we bring for you? Was, is the match of his style uh, testing yourself getting that attraction the most? It, it's a combination of, uh, of all a lot of things. You know, he's a big name, he's another legend, and he's ranked above me. I want to keep moving up the rankings, and, and I want the fight that that'll get me that eventually lead me to the title shot. Um, is that a fight that uh, you're coming up with and you're asking for it, for it, or did someone? from the UFC already approach you with the possibility of matching up with Anderson in Rio? Yeah, it's something that I talked with my management team. Um, is, are you completely f uh, fully healed? No no injuries from this fight? Do you believe you're ready for June 3rd? Yeah, 100% free. Uh, I got nothing booked. So uh, if we want to go away, make it happen in June 3rd in Rio, I would love for it to happen. So, uh, you faced uh, in middleweight so far Tim Kennedy, who was away from the sport for like two years or something. Uh, Vitor, who's 39 years old, and uh, now you're, you're calling out Anderson, uh, who's 40 years old too. Uh, do you believe that uh, maybe you, w you should get like a, an opponent a little closer to your age maybe? <laughs> or in, uh, more activity than those guys? Sure. I don't care who I fight. You know, I, I want the big fights. Uh, I want the fights that'll keep me moving up the rankings. So I, I don't care who I fight. I, I, it's just Anderson is a guy that I respect a lot. And he's a big name. He's a legend and, you know, one of the greatest of all time. So, uh, you know, those are the kind of fighters that I want to fight. I don't want to keep moving back. I want to keep moving forward. Um, and, uh, what, what would it take for you to come back to 170? Would you need to maybe lose uh, a fight at, at middleweight? Or is it something that, uh, uh, you know, it, it would have to be a, a title shot straight away against like Tyron Woodley or something? It would have to be against a number one contender. I believe, um, you know, I, I, I'm one of the best welterweights. And uh, if I go back down, it would have to be for a number one contender fight. And, and if I if I may, just one more. Um, 
to come back to 170, uh, I, you will have to cut weight again. And you've been looking awesome since you, you moved up. Is that something that you believe fighters should do more often, you know, move up and fight closer to their weight rather than cutting a, a huge amount of weight to, to fight looking Absolutely. bigger? Absolutely. Um, I felt great this whole week. I ate the whole week. I ate all the way up to, up to weigh-in. So, uh, you know, I, I was happy the whole week. Uh, but I just know my, my capabilities. I know that my chances at winning gold are, are really good at, at well to win. Hi. Hey. <laughs> Um, you talk about pursuing a title shot, and, and that could be something that you're interested in doing at middleweight at this point. But then you have the situation in which GSP is coming in, and he's getting the title shot. You said it yourself that you thought it was kind of unfair, sort of, that he was getting that in front of Yoel. The fact that the, he can come in and just the big fight just becomes the title fight, does that give you like any pause? Uh, when it comes to pursuing the title in the middleweight division, a little bit, a little bit, because you know, what's the fight of having contenders? What's the habit of, What's the point of having rankings if we're not going to follow the rankings? We're not going to follow the number one contenders. You know, um, it just doesn't make any sense. Um, you know, now, now everybody wants those big money fights. You know, and um, it just doesn't make any sense uh, to have any rankings if, if we're going to keep doing that kind of kind of stuff. And how is it for you to get to just plan for that? Because it makes even a career plan kind of seem... Shy. Right. Um, you know, just I just got to keep winning fights, keep making noise. Um, I'm not a very loud person. I'm not a very obnoxious person. But the way that I want to keep making noise is beating big names. Thank you. Thank you.